Armored Republic is suing the state of New York in federal court to resist their arrogant war against your God-given rights. A slew of new gun laws are coming out of Albany, some of which have already gone into effect and several more were going into effect by the end of the year. There's also a ban on body armor, specifically who can buy body armor. An Arizona-based company is prepping to file a lawsuit against New York State. WNY's Marsha Augustin spoke to that company CEO who you just saw on your screen, and that CEO tells her why his company is fighting back. Marsha? That's right, Nick. There were technical revisions to the restrictions on body vests, which include body armor. The CEO of Armored Republic says this lawsuit is no publicity stunt. He believes the ban imposes limits to the Second Amendment of many citizens. And he says that's why they are planning to put together a well-thought-out lawsuit against New York State. We're the biggest company selling to the citizen. And if we don't do it, Nobody's going to sue. David Reese, CEO of Armored Republic, shows me the draft filing his company is putting together. Most of their body armor sales come from individuals, and he breaks down the four main types they make. Steel, normally used to stop rifle rounds, ceramic, polyethylene, which is lightweight, and soft armor used to stop pistol rounds. This is a piece of steel armor, and it has a coating on it, so it's a little bit thicker. It's meant to help... If a round hits, it, what happens is the round is, is stopped. It's kind of shattered on the armor. And this coating on top of it helps to capture the fragments of the bullet. They also make bulletproof book bags, which are also banned under the state law. David explains the law initially only banned soft armor and not hard-plated armor. He says 95% of gun crimes committed across the country are with handguns. By banning the soft armor, they were banning the stuff that was easy for kids to wear uh, or have with them and that, could, that would be useful for stopping most crimes. And um, then they amended the bill and made it so it outlawed both. Under the current state law, you need to be a cop or work in a certain profession to purchase body armor. He says the importance of this lawsuit is to take leadership in defending the rights of their customers. We are, are working on the filing, we have a really good argument pulled together. It's based upon the Second Amendment and the 14th Amendment. David believes many parents use body armor as a tool to protect their kids. You know, a lot of parents look around at things like the shootings that you, you mentioned and the concern about it, and they say, okay, what can I do for my children, right? I, I can't make the police bravery. <laughs> I can't make the legislature pass whatever law I want but I can buy body armor for my child. Now, the body armor ban went into effect on July 6th in New York State. And it's important to know only new sales, the transfer or gifting of body armor fall under this state law. As for next steps for Armored Republic, well, David says he is hoping to have the lawsuit filed within the next couple of weeks, Nick.